chat. Look, noodle sighting. And Lindsay sighting. <laughs> yeah. Yay, noodle. You gotta do not go between the legs. Chat, where do you wanna go? Play, like, just touching the butt. <laughs> you wanna go this way first or the other way first? 96! Thank you for the sub. Oh my god, there are license plates everywhere. September underscore 2000 just subscribed. This way, that way, this way, that way. Thank you for the four months. This way, that way. All right, we're going this way. Thank you for the three months. Take us to space. This way, we'll see if the phone overheats. Sorry, it'll be fun. It's a little, it's a little hot today. Look, it's Kayla. I don't know. Are they locked? Thank you. The I'm headed everywhere. So My chat freeze. Oh. Thank you for the sub. World Donkey Day, is it? That's why people were saying that. Salty Pro just resubscribed for 30 months. Salty, thank you. Donk Day. Space, if you're listening, can you let me know when I need to go up there and do the thing? Let's go see the donks then. You know what? It's May, which means that not just World Donkey Day, also getting really close to... Uh, Guys, you have to stop doing my high bounty. It, 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 it leaks. Then people know that it's happening and then they'll leave. You gotta keep it to yourselves. Um, it's uh, World Donkey Day and it's the Donkey's Gotcha Month. Like, I think we got the Donkey's May 8th. What's the date? Beep, beep. Wait a second. Is it the 8th? Oh my god! I'm pretty sure the donkeys got here on May 8th. Which is... So it's their... Their three-year gotcha day. Today! Backing up. Whoa! Thank you so much! Serrano, you hear that? Wait, when did they play? They got that ball out. Does the donkey button still work? You know what I know about the donkey button is that really all it is is they're like, don't touch me. So I I don't do it very often because <laughs> it's kind of just them being like, mm. like it doesn't hurt them, but I don't think they particularly like it. Thank you for the sub. Donk? When he played with the ball this morning. Wow. Happy gotcha. What did you just have in your mouth? My just subscribed. Are you eating a buckeye? Did you spit it out? Jalpeno. He's cute. 
chicken. Chicken! Oh, drum. Traffic. Chicken! Hi! Yum, air. Yum. Yum. Skippy, I just gifted one subs. Yay! Thank you for the sub. Hot chicken. Hot chicken needs bath. Come with me. Wait, I want to get this ball. His beak is serrated. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit, just a little. Nothing crazy. <laughs> Ball, stomp. Chickle! Thank you, Don't Gotcha Day. So cute. The donkeys didn't play with this guy, with the jolly tug. Come on, Stompy. We got a water Stompy. Stealthy. Blazy. What? Hmm, this is not a tripod for standing up on, or for attaching to things. Let's see. Let's see. Hello? Don't. Thank you for the sub. Don't fall. Don't be back time. Chat, look out. Oh my God, I'm so scared you're gonna fall. Make sure you remember to water your emu so that they grow big and strong. Um, the reason I, I don't have contacts in so I can't read chat from here. Um, but the reason I wanted to go live on this channel is what, so many new people to I thought it'd be good to give you guys a tour of the animals go to you know go to the enclosures and show you guys who lives here and tell you guys about them nothing crazy no crazy stream just a fun little tour so stompy is the first ambassador that we got at alveus stompy is a common emu so australian ratite related to ostriches cassowaries rias kiwis um but hello Different from an ostrich because emus are much smaller uh, and they're Australian, not African. Um, we got Stompy because he was born at a zoo in California and his mom didn't want to sit on his egg or sit on his clutch of eggs. And so Stompy's clutch of eggs had to be incubated at a zoo. I used to work at that zoo when I was in college. And uh, so they reached out to me and they asked if, uh, if I wanted an emu, a baby emu to start my education program because they knew I was founding this nonprofit. And I said, heck yeah. And then they shipped Stompy over here uh, via American Airlines cargo, pet cargo. 
Stompy's not a pet though. Stompy's an ambassador. All the animals that we have here are non-releasable. They can't be released into the wild. Stompy's imprinted, was raised in an incubator um, by people. He could not survive on his own in the wild. All the animals that we have here are non-releasable and they act as ambassadors for their wild counterparts. So Stompy's conservation messaging is to teach people um, about not just emus, but about uh, the exploitation of animals in the exotic meat trade. Um, emu meat was a popular, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry was a popular alternative to red meat uh, up until the 90s um, when they just weren't able to compete with the infrastructure anymore of the beef industry. Um, and that never negatively affected wild emu populations. There's a ton of emus out there and that species is really lucky to have not been affected by the exotic meat trade. But there are a lot of species that we consume, or that people consume, uh, that are negatively affected by the exotic meat trade. So we have Stompy to teach people about that. Um, generally, my my go-to is just to avoid exotic meats, especially because, you know, you just you don't know where it came from a lot of the times. A lot of times we don't know about how it affects their wild populations because we don't have the data. Um, and then meat consumption in general. Um, I just want to make sure I'm still alive because I can't see chat. Okay. Um, imagine I'm just talking to myself. Uh, meat consumption in general. Um, I recognize that going vegan is a really big decision, um, so I'm not necessarily going to tell you guys that you have to do that, but reducing your consumption of animal products is really important, uh, particularly beef. Beef is crazy damaging to our climate because cattle produce methane. So when, um, when cows burp and fart, a byproduct of their digestive system is methane, which is a greenhouse gas. Um, and so to meet the industry we have a ton of cattle on this planet and they're hurting our planet and our climate so if you don't know where to start but you want to reduce your uh, environmental impact and what you're eating um, but you still are consuming animal products then consuming less beef is a great place to start really awesome if you consume no animal products at all But reduction is, is where to start, for sure. Um, I see chat now. If you guys have questions about Stompy, I'm happy to answer them. How old is Stompy? Stompy is like three years old. His hatch day is Valentine's Day of 2021. The sanctuary has been operating since 2021. We're pretty young. That's bizarre. <laughs> Roll over. <laughs> Who's Stompy? This is Stompy. He's a common emu. Man, I got questions going too fast, so I don't have hands. Is this just a cool mop or does he really enjoy it? He loves it. He loves water. Stompy is full grown, yeah. Are there uncommon emus? No, that's just, sorry. That's just, uh, that's just what they're called. Who gave, sorry, who gave Stompy his name? Um, chat named Stompy when he was a baby. Cause when he would run around, he would make stomping noises on the floor. Ow, rude. Thank you for the donation. Are you open to visitation? Uh, no, we are not open to the public. Um, 
we do all of our programs virtually. Sorry, I'm trying to like put the tripod down without spraying the foam. Uh, we're not open to the public. All of our conservation education is done virtually, which is actually really awesome for our animals um, because they don't have to deal with the public coming through here, but we're still able to teach like thousands of people around the world without having to take our animals anywhere or have people come here to see them. Um, so unfortunately you can't come here, uh, but you can watch them 24 seven, which is cool. Do you any kind of, do you use cleaner on him? No, just water. He's soggy. Look, wing. I'm pointing to the wing with the hose. You see that? When was the last time Stompy had a vet visit? All of the animals here get annual physicals. Uh, a vet comes out here to see them. Oh, wow. 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 Dinosaur. Any guest streams happening soon? Yeah, our next collaboration is with Bow the Whale. Thank you for the sub. She's a VTuber. Um, she'll be here May 11th. No, Bao's gonna be here virtually. Yeah, it's this Saturday. Man. I haven't had two days off in like, like 2024. <laughs> <sighs> oh! Okay, hey, Stompy, is that enough? I think you're saturated. Okay. Thank you for the sub. Okay, I think that's good, Stomp. Okay. Good. Okay. That's it. Radbards have just resubscribed for three months. Thank you for the three months. Good stomp bath. All clean. Very blue.
Yeah, Stompy makes sounds. Let me see if I can find some. I'm gonna get ads, but I can, I can play some sounds for you. So, the... This is males. Oh, sorry, Stompy. And then females sound like, oh, not like this. This is an ad. This is what females sound like. Like drumming, the dinosaur. -y. Yeah, that's what females sound like. So we know Stompy's male because he doesn't make those noises. He makes uh, male emu noises. He said, "Who's that?" Stompy's feathers are very cool. Um, he's real insulated. All of these are double shafted. So for every feather, there's every feather shaft. There's two feathers, um, and. They're really great for staying dry, even after being watered all that much. Like this is all dry feather. See, nice. These are new feathers coming in. Cute. These are his feet. He's got raptor feet. Dinosaur. And then his other dinosaur quality. He's, please, I wanna show them your claw is he's got little wings, and his wings have Stompy. Let me just show them, Stompy, Stompy. I want to show them your claw, Stompy. Stompy! Claw. Eh. You get it. He doesn't want me to show you. Claw. Cool, huh? Now we're holding hands. Winnie! She's wearing a fly mask, she can see through it. It's to keep bugs out of her eyes. <laughs> and so she can't see the haters. Winnie's a red Angus beef cow. She came from a beef operation in Oklahoma. She was gonna be slaughtered for beef at a year old, um, but she is over two years old now. She had her second birthday party here on March 22nd. She is an Aries, and she's here to teach people about the beef industry um, and its impacts on our planet and what you can do with your consumer choice to help our planet and the animals that live in it. Okay, Stomp, we're gonna go see the parrots. Groom. Bye. He's coming. Bye, pasture. I'm gonna go to the parrots. I heard some fun parrot sounds earlier. 
run. Is the title changed? And should we do a Discord announcement, maybe? siren she's a blue fronted amazon um we got her because she was a part of a breeding program at a zoo but was never successful in that program so she was booted from it um her wings are not clipped she doesn't have the ability to fly though because she's missing tail feathers as you can see back there um so she doesn't have breaks in the sky because they'll use their tail feathers like this to break in the air um, so she's not capable of flying. Um, this is, like I said, she's a blue fronted Amazon or a turquoise fronted Amazon. Um, so she'll live in the Amazon, um, which is very cool, uh, but also really tough for those wild birds because of what's happening to the Amazon lately. Um, there's lots of illegal burning that happens in the Amazon. We are farming a ton of resources out of the Amazon uh, and we're losing a ton of that habitat for these animals. Um, so, to help animals like Siren, number one, reuse more, consume less, um, is a cool way to start in your life, whether it's like thrifting clothes instead of buying new ones, um, or, or reusing things or fixing things before you buy new stuff. And uh, also, don't get parrots as pets. Uh, a lot of people take birds out of the wild to sell in the pet trade. It happens less often now than it used to, but it still happens. Um, and that has harmed wild populations of birds, especially birds like this. This is Mia. Mia, <laughs> Mia is an African gray. Um, her species is, oh, oh, drum. Mia, can you step up? Thank you. Mia is a Congo African gray. This species of bird is endangered. One of the reasons is habitat loss, and another reason is because of the pet trade. So a lot of people think that, thank you for the sub. 
A lot of people think that these birds are gonna be really fun, really chill, really cute pets, uh, but in reality, they can be super, super loud, um, like 130 decibels loud. They, <laughs> they can chew through wood, um, and they live 60, 50 to 60 years, um, and so it's just not something that most people can have in their home. Hey, hey. So a lot of people get parrots as pets thinking it'll be fun and cute, and they'll, they'll dance and sing and then, you know, be best friends forever, and then they can't have them in their homes because they do stuff like this. Our houses are made out of wood. This is what parrots do to wood. Thank you for the sub. Um, so birds like these macaws, Tico is in there, big blue wings. Tico's a macaw. Tico was um, somebody's pet. And then they dropped her in a box. Step up. Can you step up? No. Um, they dropped Tico in a box outside of a humane society because they got her as a, um, decided that they couldn't have her as a pet anymore. So they left her at a humane society in a box, which is super sad. But birds like these is like these smaller birds, you know, times whatever fold, <laughs> however much bigger they are. Um, they can break your fingers, they can, they can take your fingers off, um, they can scream crazy loud, and they just need a ton of enrichment and a ton of stuff to destroy um, because that's their nature, is foraging. We just don't recommend any parrots as pets. So yeah, don't get parrots as pets and use less stuff. Mia? Is a chicken the best pet to, oh, pet bird to have? Yeah, probably. Can I pet? Can I pet? Aww. Thanks. Soft Pixie just subscribed. Thank you for the sub. Nice bird. Okay, like, so cute, and you're like, oh wait, I want one. <laughs> um, Mia's super loud too, not as loud as Siren. Siren's way worse, but um, one of the worst things, that's her explosion noise. One of the worst sounds that Mia makes is uh, like smoke detector <laughs> alarm that is out of battery. You guys know that like super high pitched beep? She caught onto that and she'll just do that. Imagine having that, but you can't fix it all the time. Imagine. Pet. Smoke detector out of battery for 60 years. <laughs> Sometimes Mia likes to dance. We got Mia. You want um young gravy? She likes young gravy. Dance. Hey, don't touch me. Hey, get your foot off my foot. Mm. Hey, 
She likes it. She hates 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 it. Step up. Can you step up? That's nice. Hi, Birdie. Can you say hello? Hello. That's nice of you. Thank you. Come on. Whoa. Careful. <laughs> Is that funny? Lots of Mia sounds today. Mia, can you go? She said, not when you're looking at me. Here. 
experiment. I leave the phone here. I leave the mic here. I turn around. You listen to Mia when people aren't looking at her and she won't realize that you guys are, oh, that was good. She won't realize that you guys are people. Chat, don't fall off of here. And don't let Mia see you either. She'll eat you. Oh my god, look out. Chat, you're gonna die. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. She wants the tripod. That's not nice. Uh oh, she wants to chat. Mia can fly. <laughs> I can't pet you. It's inanimate. Oh. I can pet you. Sub. Sporty bunny just no. subscribed. Clubbit just resubscribed for 23 months. Me is the star today. Hat. Shut 
Have you planet just resubscribed for 30 months? Hi, MIA. Stores, thank you for the five. She's a goofy goober. Siren's over here. Siren! You in the AC? Oh my god, it's so nice in there. Are you? Siren? Are you enjoying it in there? Conditioning. Mia? I would leave the phone, but you're gonna eat it. You can't eat it. What are you doing? I'm scared. These boots were made for walking, and that's just what she do. These boots were made for walking, and she's going to bite you. Is she molting on her chest? No, um, a lot of parrots in captivity have issues with plucking. Um, it's a, it's a self-destructive behavior. Um, 
Thank you so much. Mia came to us. See, she just ate wood. Anonymous tip twenty dollars. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, it's gone. It's an access PTZ cam. Uh, Mia came to us with self, uh, or with, uh, sorry, self, not self-destructive, self, self mutilative mutilation. Um, Mia came to us with that feather plucking behavior. When we got her, she had a completely bare chest. Can you show? Can they see? Now she's got feathers, but they're not perfect, but it's, it's gotten a lot better. She's really not letting me show you very well. Look up. See? Um, that's something that's only been observed in parrots under human care, which is really sad. Like, it's not something that uh, wild birds have been observed to do. Uh, it's just parrots are, they're not, they're just not meant to be in captivity, really. Um, despite all the stuff that we give them and the training and the space that they have as well, uh, it's still a problem. I heard when they self-destruct, it means they're stressed or anxious. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it's not enough enrichment, sometimes um, it's environmental, sometimes it has to do with the birds that they're living with or not living with. Um, so, yeah. Mia, you're being kind of creepy. Pet. Okay, Siren. Oh. We're gonna go. <laughs> Bye. <Yeah>. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Don't cry. Come here. Okay, pet. Beep beep. Hi. That's nice. Thank you. Hi, oh, so cool. nice. Yeah. Petting you. I just said. All right, bye. <laughs> bye, Mia. Bye, parrots. Let's go see, it's too hot for the chickens. Let's go see the, we go see Push Pop maybe? You guys wanna take Push Pop out? Would you guys rather see Push Pop or the Marmosets? Okay, Push Pop. How's Finn doing? Finn doing? Finn is doing fine as far as I know from today. Do you hear that? That explosion sound that Mia does, it usually comes after uh, like a, a long drop, like a whistle. You know? so big so much walking okay actually let's go get water really quick and then and then we'll get push pop I also should eat at some point today it'd be good <laughs> that'd be sick it'll be good but how's this filming nice and nice and uh steady hello, hello. Spider.
Hello. Could I take Push Pop out? Push Pop? Chat, stand by. I can't hold you and get Push Pop. Ma'am. Would you like to come out? Okay, all right. She does that thing that dogs do when you hold them above water when she wants to walk. She's like, put me down. We're taking her to grass. Look, push pop, grass. You love grass. Oh, we can be in the shade. Are you kidding me? This is sick. Here you go. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is Push Pop. She's got a little calcium on her face. Don't talk about it. She, it's she's embarrassed. Calcium powder. She is a Salcata tortoise. Um, she's four years old. This is a giant tortoise, so, so she will be about 100 pounds, um, 20 to 30 inches at full size at about 15 years old. But again, she's just about four years old right now. Snack? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the sub. How fast will she grow? Um, she's four years old right now. When she was a baby, she was about the size of like a golf ball. Um, so this is four years, and then in 15 years, she'll be 100 pounds, which is the same weight as me. How long can she live? About a hundred years. Can she fully retract into her shell? Yeah, pretty much. Um, she's got those spikes on her front legs. Um, so if she does tuck her head in, I'm not gonna show you cause I don't want to scare her. Thank you. Um, but she can tuck her head in and, and cover her face completely with her, with her legs. Thank you for the sub. Delicious. She's on the move. Every time I see her, she's eating. She is like very food motivated. She just loves it. What's their native range? This is an African, so they're, they're Salcatas. I don't know if you want to eat all that. Oh, you got it? Here, wait. Dali underscore, O2 underscore, just subscribe. Um, they're Salcata tortoises. They're also called African spurred tortoises. Um, these guys are endangered in the wild. Uh, one of the reasons is because of habitat loss. One of the reasons for habitat loss that they're facing is uh, competition with cattle, with domestic cattle. So I was telling you guys, we, we have such a high demand um, for the beef industry that people are putting cattle on Push Pops native grasslands. Okay, do you need help? Um, and they're, they're being outcompeted by domestic cattle. So another reason to eat less beef. The 
the white stuff around her mouth is calcium powder. It's a supplement that gets put on her produce that we feed her inside her normal meals. She doesn't need help, she's fine. She's on the move. There she goes. Never mind, she stopped. It's not cocaine. Yeah, non-releasable. So this is a tortoise that was uh, bred and born in captivity for the pet trade. Somebody bought her as a pet when she was a little baby and had her for about four years. And then they moved states with their family and then left her behind when they moved. So they may have taken good care of her for those four years. The problem with having tortoises as pets is that they live a hundred years. And so it's just not very realistic for most people to commit to an animal for that amount of time. Um, like when they got this tortoise, they probably didn't know that they were gonna move states in four years, you know? It's just something that, that happens, so we don't really recommend these as pets either. That's why we got her. And that's how we got her. She tried blueberries. I don't know. Is she a picky eater? No. <laughs> she tried to eat a stress ball yesterday. Not like, it's not like she was unsupervised and that happened. I showed her a stress ball to see what she would do with it and she tried to eat it. And I was like, okay, never mind. She just loves eating. She was relieving stress. Oh. Ladybug bottom left. Yeah, yeah. There's ladybug bottom left. You don't want that piece? Granola underscore shovel had just subscribed. <laughs> Thank you. When will her pen be ready? It is next on our project list. Getting push pop out there, getting the reptiles done. There she. There she goes. There she goes again. Or, or. She liked the way that I walk. Uh. She liked the way that I move because her name's Push Pop, AKA Poppy, AKA Pop Smoke, AKA Queen of Pop, AKA The Pope, AKA Push to Talk, AKA Push a T. Box Dude 22 just gifted five subs. Box Dude, thank you for the five. AKA Popstar, AKA Snap Crackle Pop, AKA Popeyes. 
Thank you so much. Thank you for the donation. AKA Pop Tart. AKA Pop Lock It Drop It. Sorry, yeah, I was saying earlier, Push Pop was, was born in captivity for the pet trade um, and raised in captivity. So she's uh, not able to take care of herself in the wild. Check this out. I gotta be careful where I'm like sitting. Oh, you see that? That is a caterpillar that would hurt me. Real bad. <clears throat> you see the spines? There she goes. Nah, push pop's fine. She's off roading. Every time I like sit down. <laughs> Wolf 30 by 30 will be wrapped up in about two weeks. Oh my God, push pop. Stop moving. Please. Yes, more. She hates it. Beautiful underscore just subscribe. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to leave it there. She hates it. You know what I should do is get you really, you guys should get really in there. Yum. No. No. Thank <laughs> you. 
I can't hold it down there. Look how fast she is. How hard is the shell? Can it bend at the edges? No, it can't bend at the edges. It's really hard. Um, that being said, it is made out of keratin like our fingernails, so she can feel through the shell. Obstacle. Does she get any training? Yeah, Push Pop is target trained. Um, she's trained to touch a red ball with her nose and then she gets food. So we can move her places um, voluntarily instead of having to pick her up. Does she have a strong sense of smell? That I don't really know the answer to, to be honest. I, she has a sense of smell. I, I don't know that it's like, it's not like a dog, but I don't know how good it is compared to ours. She found milkweed. The plant she's eating right now is called milkweed. It's, uh, okay, never mind. Subscribed. She hated it. It's the only plant that monarch uh, butterfly caterpillars eat, so it's very important for pollinators. Does she like pets? No, not yet. I hope she will one day, though. All right, miss. You ready to go back? Thank you for the sub. Have you clocked how fast she can move? I have not. Um, moves surprisingly fast, I think, for what I would expect. But would the miles per hour be impressive? Definitely no. I think it's impressive for what I would expect from a tortoise but they, they don't move all that fast. Thank you for the two months. She's leaving. Weak attack just gifted five subs. Feet. Thank you for the five. Feet. She has kind of long legs, actually. Thank you for the sub. She's gone. <laughs> Wait, this is crazy terrain. Whoa. Snack break. Four by four engaged. All right, guys, you wanna go see the the marmosets. Push pop, you ready? Beep beep, traffic, halt, hello. Okay, stop. Okay, it's time to go. 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna pick you up. Time to go, miss. <laughs> Back home. Wee. I would really rather not carry her around like this, to be honest. I'm excited for her to have like her own giant enclosure so she has all the autonomy to move wherever she wants. Um, this is just because that's where the grass patch is and I don't have another way of transporting her. This is just because that's where the grass patch is. Okay, back inside. Hold on. Here you go, miss. All right. We will go see uh, the marms and we'll go take a peek at the wolves. I'm not going to go up to the foxes today. Um, I don't want to like unnecessarily stress them out for any reason. Hello. Hi. Um, but we'll go see them. We'll go take a peek at the wolves and then, and then I'll see you guys back. Sets. Monkeys, Momo and Appa. Um, Marmosets are a common marmoset and a black tufted marmoset. Hello. Hi. Sure <laughs> says bye. This is Appa. Appa is a common marmoset. This is his enrichment today. What did you get? This is a P.O. box thing. Hey, I'm not taking it. I was just showing it to them. He just tried to grab my finger and pull it into his mouth to bite it. Um, kind of fun, foraging enrichment. A menu had just subscribed. Thank you for the sub. So we have two marmosets, um, Appa and Momo. Appa is a common marmoset. Momo is a black tufted marmoset. Um, we got them because somebody tried to get them, or somebody bought them as pets online in Austin and just didn't know how to take care of them, so didn't properly take care of them. Um, they had a bunch of medical issues when we got them. Our vet declared neglect on them. That's why they got transferred here. They had metabolic bone disease, dental disease, vitamin D deficiencies. Appa had very little use of his back legs, um, now has full use of his back legs, which is exciting. And we have them as ambassadors here. One, uh, to provide them with the best quality of life possible for the remainder of their lives. And two, uh, to teach people about the exploitation of monkeys in the pet trade and other animals in the pet trade. Um, these guys are not pets. It's not good for them. Um, and... It's not one I'll let you guys hang out with them. Oppo, what do you think? He's 
He's on the phone. You just can't see him. <laughs> Momo? Momo's up there. He doesn't like you guys. Dude, it's not yours. Dude. He doesn't want me to take the phone. Oh my God. Okay, you guys can't see him. I'm gonna show you what he looks like and he will not let me take the phone. I've made a mistake. Appa. This is also mine. <laughs> hey bud, this is Momo. Momo's the black tufted marmoset. There's some peeing on his enrichment that he got today. Thank you. Very nice. Um, before we got these marmosets, they were um, living in a cage inside someone's, some guy's house um, for the duration of their lives. That's why they had vitamin D deficiencies because they didn't get any sunlight. Um, this is their first outdoor enclosure that they've ever had, and they are thriving. They love it, um, which is very exciting for us. And also, their ecological niche in the wild is being seed dispersers. So their job in the wild is to eat a bunch of fruits and then swing around the trees and poop everywhere because it helps with forestry growth. Um, but they'll do that in your house as well, which is probably not something that you want. How long have you guys had him? Mm, a year and a half, right? Maybe, Marms? You getting close to two years? That's a marmoset vocalization. Thank you for the demonstration. Do you see his little teeth? It hurts when he bites. <laughs> he went inside. So, uh, because these are Brazilian monkey, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because, oh. Because these are Brazilian monkeys, uh, they're not adapted to the Texas heat. Um, so they have a whole other separate enclosure inside. It's just like their outdoor one, uh, but it's AC in here. I'm not going in there. I was just showing them. He's on one today. Boing. What's in there? So this is an example of enrichment. A lot of people have asked about enrichment for the wolves. For the wolves, we'll do lots of scent enrichment so they'll have novel smells. Um, can you demonstrate your enrichment, please? Instead of whatever you're doing right now? <laughs> I'm doing education. Look, look, enrichment, what's in here? What's in here? Okay, anyway, so for the wolves, we'll do scent enrichment so they'll have novel smells. Um, 
But for the marms in the wild, they would be foraging a lot for their food and scraping gum out of trees and stuff like that. Um, so this is a really fun way for them to practice that natural behavior. They have gel diet. See that a bit? It's uh, made out of fruits. Okay, so sorry. You could have shown them and you didn't. So I was showing them. Um, so there's their diet is like smeared in there so they can scoop it out. Cranky today, man. Enrichment is any, oh, you got some mealworms, yum. Yum. Enrichment is anything that helps them engage in natural behaviors. A snack. Yum. <laughs> Can they hang by their tail? No, their tails are only for balance. They're not prehensile. Lots of monkeys can do that. Um, Black-handed spider monkeys even have like a pad at the end of their tail, um, like on their hands for gripping. It's really cool. Teeth check. underscore spicy just resubscribed for six months. Demonstration. Live enrichment demo. Yeah, they're on artificial grass. Thank you for the six months. I'm just showing them from here. Skyfront just resubscribed for 17 months. I just got here from watching Julian's video. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Hey, bud. You want to say hi? This is Momo. He hasn't checked out the camera yet. He's a black tufted marmoset. He's had more than half of his teeth removed because he had dental disease when he got here because he had an improper diet. So he's kind of gummy, but he does really great eating anyway. Itch. Itch. <laughs> You were also on Hank Green's newsletter this week. I know, so cool. Also, I was, um, I made the top 10 female streamers on Twitch in April. I was number 10. We're famous. Spaceman Bones donated $25 to charity. Thank you so much for the $25. 
That's like half of our produce bill for the week. <laughs> the monkeys get some produce. They love apples and they love bananas, um, but they also get veggies like zucchini, sweet potato, squash, carrots. I recommended you for the Hank newsletter. I'm so pumped they put it in there. Wow, thank you so much. That's so cool. Thank you for doing that. Are they territorial? E yeah, I mean, if I went to like take that, Oppa would freak out and bite me. Are they allergic to anything like dogs are? They totally could be, yeah. We're not aware of them being allergic to anything, um, but they could have allergies like just like a dog could, yeah. All right, you guys wanna go see the crows? And then take a peek at the wolves. Hi, buddy. Bye. <laughs> Bye. You want a stick? This is huge. <laughs> you want a really big stick? What do you think? Is it everything you dreamed of? No. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> you guys are so creepy. Oh. <laughs> Abba. You're scaring them. Just resubscribed for 14 months. Thanks you, I've been able to find a new love. Stop! And I always find myself talking to people about how important they are and how cute all the Barbaras and cockroaches are. Thank you for doing that. That's awesome. All right. Goodbye. How have we not domesticated monkeys? They seem like such useful animals of train. Um, you know, not everything is meant to be ours. <laughs> is my is my answer to that. Could monkeys eventually be useful to people in some capacity? Sure, I don't know, there's a lot of animals that could be. But, uh, they're wild animals, they can stay that way. <laughs> this is, uh, Push Pop's new enclosure that's being built. So she's gonna have this huge space, all these posts in the ground. She's gonna have all that. Oh, you know what? I don't have the key for the wolves. Abbott? Whoa, did you guys get Easter eggs today? That is so fun.
This is why I haven't been going in the crow enclosure with collabs and stuff. What's the crow's backstory? They were uh, both born in the wild in central Texas, um, and they were raised by humans, um, and they imprinted on humans, unfortunately. So they don't know how to take care of themselves in the wild uh, because they identify with humans um, sort of as their species. So, so baby birds imprint um, very early on in their development, and it's an irreversible change that happens in their brain. Um, it's the reason baby ducklings will follow adult ducks, and um, and it's how they learn who to be afraid of uh, and who to mate with and, and what to eat and how to find shelter and where to migrate to, et cetera, et cetera, how to be a bird. And so when baby birds imprint on humans, it severely reduces their chance at survival in the wild, um, usually to the point where they're non-releasable, so these two are non-releasable birds. That being said, the education for these, these crows is uh, if you find baby birds, if you find any wildlife, uh, you're gonna wanna look for a local wildlife rehab center, wildlife rehabilitation center. It's usually, it's illegal um, to take in wildlife and raise it in your house, uh, but also there are experts that know how to do that in a way that actually gives that animal a chance at survival. Um, so never try to raise a baby bird on your own. I know people have good intentions when doing that. Dude, Carrie Underwood just posted on her Instagram. She just posted a video of like, I found this bird and I've been feeding it. And it's like imprinted. It's already imprinted. It's got like, you know, she's got millions of followers. Super sad. Uh, and But actually a lot of people in the comments are like, hey, this is illegal. You shouldn't do this. You should take it to a wildlife rehab center. And then a lot of the comments are like, oh, God's creatures. Thank you for doing this. Um, anyway, point being... Take, take wildlife to wildlife rehab centers if you find them. Um, there's a feature on the Alveus website that you can use to, to find out more about when you should intervene if you have questions about that. If you guys want to link it, that'd be awesome. You can save that uh, for spring because it's baby animal season. So you guys might come across some baby, baby animals. Do you ever want to get exotic wildlife, like a monkey or a grip? We have two monkeys. We just left their enclosure. Watching your videos makes me pay more attention to birds. They're actually cooler than I thought. Dude, bird ID is so addicting. It's, it's no wonder that people get really into birding um, as adults. Like, once you know what a bird is called, every time you see it, it's like adrenaline. It's like, oh my god, it's, if you can identify birds by their call, it, you feel so cool. All right, we're going to get a little quiet because we're going towards the wolf enclosure. It's locked, though, and I don't have a key. Sorry, guys. So we'll have to be out here. You know, it's probably better, actually, if I just switch you to the to the cams at this point because um, your, your view will be better than on the phone way out here. They insulated the 30 by 30. I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't really. Kind of? Whoa. You hear that echo from all the way over here? Just resubscribed for 15 months. 15 months pop spin. Hello. Cool. All right. Um, wolf dogs are back there. I'm going to switch you guys to the cams now so you can see the wolves and you can see the foxes um no alveus is not open to the public um we do all our education virtually it, it helps protect us with privacy as you know because i'm a streamer and it also helps protect the animals um from new stressful things and we don't have to take them anywhere uh so all of our education is done online all right i'm going to switch it to the night cams guys um Thank you so much for being here again. If you're new to this community, we're so excited to have you. Um, I hope you got to see a little more of our animals today. And I will see you guys. I don't know. I will see you guys.